Welcome back to Terror by the Bay. I'm David. Um, I was amusing about the fact that tomorrow is President's Day. And um, I just did a reading on Jimmy Carter and going home for hospice. And I started in looking at comments with regards to the Matt Getz trial and accountability or lack thereof, as the case may be. And it started getting me thinking about Donald Trump. I read some headlines that the Proud Boys are looking to <laughs> subpoena him as a co-conspirator. <laughs> That's entertaining. Uh, stand back, you know, stand down and stand by and all that. But I'm curious, um, with everything that's going on and everything that hopefully is about to go on, uh, how's Donald Trump feeling? Is he is he going to stay or is he going to go? Is he going to, if he's subpoenaed, if he is indicted, is he going to stay and fight or is he going to try and flee? And then I want to throw on what will be the result on MAGA depending on his decisions, if there's even a difference. Okay, so first off, with Donald Trump, what is his mindset? Is he planning on staying in the United States to fight charges, or is he planning on fleeing to a country with no extradition treaty? Saudi Arabia is still where I see him going. So let's see. Okay, page of wands. You know, he's, he's got the idea of taking a travel, you know, looking at looking at leaving. He's got this idea. And King of Swords trying to basically trying to avoid somebody who's coming after him who's uh, kind of heartless. Judgment central to it. And the government. Good Lord. <laughs> yeah. Um, and underneath it is the uh, the Six of Pentacles. So. Um, I don't think he's going to try and bribe his way out, but look at this is that he needs some charity. You know, this is again, kind of a quid pro quo card right underneath this, the Ace of Pentacles. I did you a favor. Now it's time for you to do me a favor. And he's looking at traveling. This is, you know, I've got this idea. It may not be a very mature idea. It may not be a very well thought out idea, but he's got this idea of going because he's trying to avoid judgment. He knows what's ever going to come out is not going to be good for him. And it's going to be not something he can talk his way out of. This is going to be a harsh judgment and it's coming from the government. So um, that's not telling me if he's going to leave or not. I would imagine what that means is he hasn't decided yet or it's not been decided. I've, I think Sterling uh, made mention that uh, if he gets wind that he's getting indicted, that's when he's going to make a flee that could flee the country, and that could very well be. But I'm, uh, so we don't know yet. My gut tells me that that man has never stayed to f to uh, face any consequences of his actions. He's never had to face consequences quite like this. Now that being said. He also likes to fight things in court, and maybe if he feels he can delay these things in court, he'll stick around. But you can also fight these things in court not being in the country, and then you don't have to be in jail, right? Okay, but what's the, more of interest, what's the impact on Trump supporters? Now, I think the MAGA, the, the true MAGA base, they don't care. They truly don't care. They're fanatics. So, you know, 16% of the, one in six people, 16% of the population, you're going to just have to write them off as that's who they are. Disappointing, yeah, but. Now, for the for the next, uh, you know, one third of the population, because about half the population, or a third anyway, seem to really support this guy. For, for those not, you know, diehard, devout, uh, uh, MAGA fascists, what's their opinion going to be? Uh, about this. So if Trump sticks around and fights uh, all the any and any and all indictments that come his way, what's going to be the opinion of Donald Trump? What's his legacy? Let's find out that one. Well, something's going to be happening fast. Is that the change of opinion or is that the indictments? There's going to be a bunch of weariness. <laughs> Devil in the center part of it, and you know, everything here 
says things are going to be happening fast and there's going to be a lot of turmoil. So a lot of actions actually happening, all these wands. Um, okay, so what's going to happen? Um, if he stays, things are going to happen quickly, probably one after another, after another, after another. And he is central to everything that's happening quickly. Uh, Donald Trump's probably exhausted right now. And it's going to be more exhausting because he's going to be battling on so many fronts. You know, you look at the, the look on this guy's face. He doesn't know where the next attack is coming from. He knows he has to defend it. And he's got all these... You know, all these things he has to defend and he doesn't know where the next one is. But whoever it is, it's coming and it's going to come fast. And he has to keep defending himself against hard charging enemies. And, it, you know, again, underneath is all the turmoil. So does that answer my question? What's going to happen if he stays uh, for, uh, for people that supported him? It doesn't. I think that what that's throwing out there is if he stays... Or generally speaking, I think with <laughs> take two, Q, David, action. What's going to happen is going to happen quickly. I was asking, you know, what's going to be the impact on uh, MAGA? And, and Spirit does this to me with my cards. Sometimes they're not done answering the, the original question I had, or they want to answer a different question. I think what, what's going to happen, what they're telling us here is things are going to happen to Donald Trump, and they're going to happen really, really fast. And maybe that's why he's got uh, an unhatched plan to leave because it happens so quickly he doesn't have an opportunity to act on it. Okay, but what's going to be the impact of, on MAGA? What's going to be the impact on people if he stays and fights these charges? Let's see if I can get an answer this time. What's going to be the impact? Okay, I guess that card wants to be there. It's going to be the end of, it's going to be the end of, of that for people. Page of Cups. Two of Cups and the Fool. Okay. If he stays and fights, um, it's interesting. You've got the, the victory card on this one. If he stays and fights, you know, it's, it's funny hate watching him declare victory on uh, the Georgia announcement that he's totally exonerated. It's, it's a fake victory because he's not exonerated. It's, it's just the exact opposite. Um, for maybe, maybe that's an underlying victory for the rest of us. If he stays in fights, it's, it's the end of him. He is not going to win. And I think people are going to see the agreements that Donald Trump made, the deal, the backroom deals that he made with people that will be his undoing. They're going to basically, they're going to see the truth on that. And maybe as an underlying card of the victory, it's a victory for all of us. If people open up their eyes and see this man for who he is and can turn around and walk away from MAGA and that awful behavior that it's inspired, we're all better for it. It's, it's awful that we had to go through that ugliness. But maybe people might self-reflect at that point and say, wow, you know, I really got drawn in by that. Why? Um, Page of Cups, again, and that could be self-reflection. That's looking at your, that's kind of looking at things in a new way. Like, you know, this man's looking at this fish. You know, this is craziness. And maybe folks might understand that this could be Donald Trump just coming across as cray-cray at this point. And, uh, and fool it. And foolish, foolish decisions on his part, but it's also foolish behavior on people's parts in general. Um, I think, again, I think in the end, if he stays in fights, it's going to be the end of MAGA for the people who are willing to be convinced that MAGA should be ended. Uh, I really don't think that uh, the most awful of the deplorables are going to be upset with Donald Trump. They're just going to, they'll look at him as being victimized, you know. Deep state got him, you know, that, that type of craziness. But for those people not convinced that there's a d deep state or maybe willing to be convinced that maybe it was a lie this whole time, reasonable people, I think they're going to turn away from that. Okay, now, what happens if Donald Trump flees the country? What's going to happen uh, with MAGA? What's going to happen with, uh, with the non-fanatical supporters? Should Donald Trump flee the country? You know, it's kind of hard to, 
say how much you like Saudi Arabia 24-7, 365 days of the year, you know, so in the summertime down there. You never want to come home again to your, your, your golf clubs that you spend all your time at? No, it would be taunting. Eh? To see the taunting. If you, now, your guy is so guilt, so innocent. How come he doesn't come back? You know, again, the, the MAGA crowd will make excuses for him. But All right, so what happens? What happens to Donald Trump's MAGA movement uh, to the extremists uh, of this country should he flee the country? if he flees the country what's going to happen to the MAGA movement all right let's see what this one is there's the fool card is that him taking his journey or is that people taking a walk from him strength offers you don't like wheel of fortune and underneath it, <laughs> the seven of swords i've been waiting for this card to show up Okay, so what happens if he takes a walk? You know, he's going to try and uh, sell it like, oh, you know, I'm just going on a new, a new part of my life. But really, the reason why he's doing it is he's trying to get away with it. You know, and I think what that's saying is no matter how much people want to believe he's starting a new, starting a new chapter of his life, they're going to understand that he's he's trying to sneak away with as much as he can they can try and convince themselves as much as they want but there's so much evidence coming out that they can't sit there and ignore it you know they got four cups here and i think he's got four major cases against him and you can try and make excuses but every time you know you're handed a new cup new information new evidence and you can sit there saying, I don't believe it, I don't believe it, I don't believe it. But after a while, you're fooling yourself and you know you're fooling yourself. It's going to come. It, at some point, you're just going to say, yeah, you know what? You know what? I made a mistake. I believed what this guy was selling. And I don't believe it anymore because there's just too much going on. And his behavior doesn't jive with what he's saying and maybe people will feel that they were foolish for listening to him in the first place um yeah so if he flees if he flees people are going to understand who he is it might take a little longer because some people will make mistake will make excuses for him but they will understand that the, there's just they've been making excuses for this guy the whole time and that he played him they won't want to admit it but they can't ignore it as much as they want. So they'll just hope we don't talk about it. Okay, for entertainment purposes only, of course, because what do I know? I'm just some random dude on the internet throwing tarot cards and interpreting it, right? All right, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like. Throw a comment out there. Share it. Have a great afternoon and a good night. Bye-bye.